in this house. We love horror, and we're going to talk about it. Let's take a look at Skinnamarink. All right, so let me start out by saying that this film will absolutely not be for everyone. So I want to start out nice and early and tell you guys that I think this movie is for people that like to feel an uncomfort, a discomfort. It's for someone that is seeking out an elevated horror. Uh, and I don't mean by that like, oh, artsy, like super duper horror. What I mean is it's going to tap into horror for you in a different way than a traditional slasher or paranormal film. Who this film is not for is someone that is sensitive to child abuse. It's not for someone that is sensitive to dread and the feeling of despair. If you are sensitive to any of those things, this will not be the film for you. So take that as we go ahead here. For my first horror video, I had to talk about this film. This film, I barely felt comfortable watching this film, and I don't experience that often. Horror does not affect me in the way that it did when I was a child anymore, and this film, you can't help but tap back into that inner child feeling of when nothing felt safe, everything could hurt you at any given time, that insecure feeling, and I think that's why a lot of people are going to struggle with this film. Um, it's very, it's been very wrong for a long time to ever see a child get hurt in a film or see a child in danger. It's very, feels unsettling and um, I think it's a good thing for us to ask why it feels unsettling. I mean, it's obvious, right? Like, children are innocent, they're meant to be protected. So what about tapping into that emotion that gets stricken, stricken when you cannot protect the child? And that's what this film is going to make you feel. I don't want to say that this film never lets you feel any comfort because that would be wrong. It does at times. Um, for example, when they're sitting at the television watching cartoons with a bowl of cereal, it makes you feel like, hey, Saturday morning, wake up, watch some cartoons, eat some cereal. And then it immediately snatches you away I'm from that. Go um, I remember starting at about, I mean, you, you feel dread throughout the whole film, but I remember it once 45 minutes hit. I had this smile on my face because I knew that this film had sucked me in and like had me scared. Like I, I was fearful for these children and what an emotion to be able to get struck by a movie like a film. A lot of people have gripes with the film because it's um, weird camera angles and such but I mean immediately from the get-go I picked up on hey you're looking from a child's point of view. You, you, you're the child in this film seeing things the way that they would and that just makes it all the better. As horror fans, as film fans, I think that we should be excited about this. Uh, you don't have to like it, not everyone likes to be horrified per se, but supporting new and different things is important I think. Dale reimaginations of films and more slashers, we lose originality and we've seen this happen multiple times throughout horror history already, where slashers got overdone, where paranormal got overdone, so I think it's really nice when we can introduce new themes into horror and hopefully add some diversity and keep it growing. And I think analog horror specifically is a great place to go with that. I'm inspired, I have to say, as a content creator. We look at Kyle Edward Ball, who made Skinnamarink, right? And he's been creating short horror films on YouTube forever forever for five years and now we have him working up to making a full feature length film that's amazing that's incredible at some point i would like to go back through and look at his old horror because i have never seen it i didn't hear about him until skinnamarink came out and i'm sad <laughs> I, w I can't wait to go back and watch yeah but I, th I think that this is the kind of thing in horror that we need to support rather than i guess blackball because it makes us uncomfortable horror is designed to make us uncomfortable think back to the first time you saw the hills have eyes. Now tell me that that didn't make you uncomfortable. Of course it did, but I mean, I guess at the time people did try to dissuade people from watching that film, but I, that's always going to be something we deal with as a horror community. I just think that horror is trending up in the right directions lately with ARGs, analog horror. I think the Mandela catalog. We're tapping into different parts of our brain than just seeing it like in a major motion picture. So my suggestion is, who do I think this film is for? This film is for the horror fan that doesn't get scared anymore the horror fan that is not squeamish to uneasiness because you're gonna feel uneasy for 90% of this film. If you enjoy paranormal, this is for you. At least, well, okay, that's a hypothesis that I'm thinking that it's a paranormal entity involved, but I'm trying not to give any spoilers in my review here. Who is this film not for? This film is not for someone that is 
sensitive to child abuse. This film is not for someone that is squeamish to being uncomfortable, someone that does not enjoy that uncomfortable feeling when they're watching a film that doesn't know what's going to happen next. This film is not for someone that is um, sensitive to demonic entities, for sure. And this film is not for someone that is not going to enjoy the, I would call, artistic angles and film and the way the movie was shot. You have to be able to understand and enjoy the fact that you're watching this film from the child's point of view and if not then you're not going to enjoy it. it kind of reminds me of like it tapped into childhood memories that i forgot were there for example um when i was uh, a child i was visiting kentucky with my family and we w it was in october we attended a um haunted house and i remember being so scared after that that it was up in the middle of the night and everyone else was asleep or otherwise away, not around me, so I was alone. And I remember I couldn't look out the window because I thought that the bad people that were chasing me in the haunted house were going to be out there. And I was alone and it was this very eerie feeling. No one was, I think everyone was downstairs or something. I was alone in the living room upstairs and I just remember like feeling this sense of dread like you don't know what is there. and. That is what you're going to feel the entire time you're watching this film. Which for me, like I said, I had a smile on my face from 40 minutes on in the film because it just felt amazing. Feel that uneasiness again as a horror fan that's been watching horror, God, since I was four years old. Truly, since I was four years old, I've been watching horror and I haven't felt it. I want to say since then because of course some stuff scared me along the way as a kid, but like probably since I was a teenager young teenager i haven't been frightened of a horror film that wasn't due to a phobia so yeah i think that like i said if you're not sensitive to child abuse pretty much you should watch this film and try to get through it even if you don't like the camera angles they're using and such try to get through it because i promise you it will tap into something in your mind and unlock something for you and uh let you connect with the film which i think is amazing i always think that horror likes to tap into something that has occurred in reality whether it be a personal thing or a world thing that's the purpose of horror is to let you analyze horrors that you have yourself experienced thank you everyone for watching and uh i'll be back soon with more film reviews i think we're gonna do barbarian next but if anyone would like to see my take on a film let me know and i'll check it out I also plan on doing more horror movie reviews in the future, so if that's something you guys think you're going to be interested in, please do let me know. Uh, I was going to go into some childhood things that uh, affected me, and I think that could be a fun to explore together. So let me know what you guys think, and if you like the video, please like and subscribe because like I said, more is going to be coming out in the future. If you didn't like it, maybe let me know why down in the comments below so I can improve going forward. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.